Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and in today's lecture I will be telling you about what is value type and reference type. Now the reason I am recording this lecture is uh, basically I have seen a lot of programmer which know which show, uh, like tells like they know this concept very well but I have seen while doing the programming they get messed up with the code. So I will be telling you about what is value type and what is reference type and how to use in the program. So if I just give a definition or like a quick summary of uh, what is value type and reference type. Now value type are those objects when you are passing them as a parameter when any value any uh, change in value happen there in the call function then it never reflect to the original source. Now in the case of reference object whenever the reference of an object is passed to a method now if in called method if any change of value happens it do reflect into the original source. Now maybe this definition will not sound uh, much uh, easy for you to understand but now after this example you will be clear about this. Now in C sharp for reference object we use two keywords one is ref and second is out okay both keywords do the same task but I will tell you why and which one is to be used and why other one not to be used. Now initially for an example I have declared this three variable val1, val2 and val3. Now val1 is having value 1 okay initially we have initialized with 1 and val2 is initialized with 12 so just forget about for uh, val3 for now now I have created two methods one is do operation and second is also do operation but the type of argument here I am passing in the first one I am uh, passing argument int and for the second I am passing reference to an int value okay now if I look into the definition of both my methods now while passing as well I am using ref so while receiving as well I am using the ref. So in this what I am doing is what, uh, whatever the value is passed I will change that value with the 10 and in the second example as well second method as well I am doing the same whatever the reference of object is passed I will change the value on that reference with 10. Now as I am here in the, pass, uh, in the first example I am passing val1 and for the second example I am passing val2. So let us see whether it changed the value into the original source or not. Okay. Sorry, I just skipped one line. Okay, now initially, as I told you, value of val1 is 1 and val2 is 12. Now, if I go with this do operation method, now 1 is received in this value and I'm changing value to 10 and I'm getting out my method. Now, if I see val1 is still 1. Okay, now in the second example, I am passing a reference to my object. Now, here, if you see val is 12 because we have initialized value 2 as a 12 initially okay now after this I am changing that value to 10 now when I'm getting out of the method and if I check my value of value 2 now it is 10 so means the second method has changed the value to the original source as well but first method was not able to do that and that is because of ref keyword because in the second method we are passing the reference to the object of the like object well 2 and then in the method we are changing value for this val2 and it is uh, returning us the, like it is updating the value in the source as well. Now these are the values uh, basically basic data types which are by default not reference type by default these are value type. Now when it comes to the classes now for example I have created a student class having two property name and branch. Now by default to, uh, object or uh, you can say class object is always a reference type whenever you are passing without even without ref keyword or out keyword it is always a reference type so whatever the values you will do in that object it will reflect into the original value so for example I have created this an object now in this object I have assigned these two property uh, with two values name is yogi and branch is CSE. now when I am calling this do operation method now I have one more overloaded method which is accepting uh, parameter of type student and I will be right now the values name of, of name property is Yogi and now I will be changing it to Yogesh. Now as I told you without ref keyword this or uh, like a custom uh, like even say class object are always reference type. So if I get out and I see and if I see check my original source its value is also updated with Yogesh. Now classes are by default reference type. Okay, now we have two things as I told you we can create reference type with ref as well as with out. Okay, now there is a bit difference in both of this uh, you can say keyword when you are using a ref. Okay, now it make mandatory for that method to have some value assigned to these reference or some change should be happening. 
now in this case of out if there is no assignment of value is done for this val3 it will give an exception now if i just try to comment this out i am not providing any value to this val2 and if i just try to rebuild my solution it will succeed but when i in the case of out keyword when i am doing this and i try to rebuild it will give an exception because there is no value assigned to this parameter uh, you can say uh, this reference so in the case of out it is mandatory to have some value assigned so that it can do the uh, further operation or you can it can proceed otherwise it will give a compiler compile time error okay now i think uh, for now out and ref you can use both ref is very less you can say uh, suggest it but in my program i do use maximum ref i don't use out because it provides few restriction otherwise ref is used when it comes to unmanaged code but anyhow you can use the both okay now just let me delete this code okay now coming to the object back now here what i am doing is i am creating one more object obj1 and here what i am doing is i am creating an object then i am calling this method so it will change the value of name to yogesh then I am creating one more object obj1 and then I am providing obj1 equal to obj. So I am assigning obj to obj1. Now as obj1 is a new object, so you will think when we are passing any value to it, it will be a new object. But as I told you, class is always by default a reference type. So when we are assigning obj, obj to obj1, it will be assigning the reference. So even if we change the value in obj1, it will also reflect into this object. So let us see. Okay, now b while assigning the value of name is Yogesh and in obj1 as well, the value is obj uh, Yogesh and now I'm changing value to the obj1 and now I've assigned it Yogesh Mahela. Now if I go to my original object that is obj, now value is also updated in that as well. Now you see class is always a reference type. Okay, now here I am creating one more object with one constructor. Okay, now I have created one constructor with my student class and that constructor is always a parameter type. So what it will do is whatever the parameter is passed, it will assign the value from those parameter to this object. Now in this case, what happens is when I'm assigning the value, so in this case i am assigned i am not assigning a reference to the object but through constructor i am able to create uh, i am able to assign values which are passed as a parameter to my new object so now if i change value to this obj2 now it will not reflect to any of the above object now if you see the value in the obj2 it is yogi mela now how I, I did it by default I have created two uh, constructor one is without parameter no parameter constructor which is having no definition now second one is having uh, uh, one parameter that is of it uh, the type of itself now what we are doing is with the parameter passed we are getting the value of name from it and assigning it to the current uh, object well uh, name property and same with the branch so when we are assigning a new student it will create a new object and get the value from obj and put in uh, put the values into that now in the in this case a reference is not transferred just the values are transferred so once values are transferred you can change the value and it will not reflect into the original source now when it comes to the class there is always a problem okay now I have one uh, one more example which I have created is here in this example I am creating a list of student and I am adding two student one is Yogi and second is Harish with having two different branches and later I am creating one more list and I am assigning this list to newly created list now as I told you class is always the reference type so even if I am changing the value into the new list where I have assigned the list it will also reflect into the original list so let us see here in my original list it is yogi for first person and second person harish it is just a harish now what i do is i will go into the copy where i will assign the value i will just change the value for both the uh, both objects in the list now as i told you this is a reference type so whatever the value are changed here it will also reflect into the original source so even 
this problem is not only you can say uh, left only with the object place it also carry on the uh, list cell as well now how to tackle this problem you can tackle it with the two syntax first of all uh, basically three syntax are there for each is there with for each you can copy value of each object from list one to the second one but that uh, mostly I don't use I use a second and third approach that is using select method I am using a lambda expression now just for a clarification lambda expression represent you can say object of that collection so here I will represent object of that collection now what I am doing is I am selecting new student with assigning two values from the object which is uh, under my you can say collection and then I am converting the anonymous type to list now when I am doing this I am able to get new list now what I will do is I will change the value in the original uh, the new list and I will first check it hasn't changed value into the original list and if I check it has changed value into the new list means with this syntax I am able to create a copy of a class which is not associated with the original uh, class so whatever the changes I am doing with this list it is not reflecting into the original class now there is one more syntax I uh, just short uh, with which I can short it down now as I told you I have created a constructor so parameter I will pass and then it will copy the value of uh, those property from the parameter and put into the current object property so to this do this operation I am instead of uh, like creating new object with this I am passing uh, I am calling the constructor with parameter and I am passing I now list is of student uh, uh, type list so when I am passing I means it is passing a student object so here as well with this constructor I am able to create a copy of the class which I can change and it will not reflect any change to the original value if you see now maybe i have been a little fast with this lecture but uh, i with all of these example you must be clear about what is reference type and class type for making the normal value type as a reference type you need this ref or out keyword and uh, out and ref i showed you like what are the limitation with it out will not let you compile the program till the time there is no assignment to the all the values which are passed and ref uh, will uh, I have no issue with that so it is kind of returning the values with the reference and class is by default reference type you don't require any ref keyword to pass the class by default it will pass the reference or whatever the changes you will be doing the object it will reflect into the original source and now that problem doesn't only uh, you can say stay with the class it also carry on the with the collection of that class so here if even with the list also you cannot directly assign the list and try to create a copy of it for creating a copy uh, you have to go with this, this select or uh, select method or with the for loop and you can like segregate these two uh, like you can say two new list creation syntax with uh, this constructor as well now even if you want to clone the array now while doing the clone as well the reference are always copied so whatever the changes will you will do into the clone that also will reflect to the original values so this is a pretty big problem with this reference type sometimes people understand very easily because of this section only I have recorded this lecture because I have seen a lot of programmer they try to make a copy and later find out whatever the changes they are doing it reflect into the original list so I think I have made myself clear so if you have still have any question you can contact me anytime my name is Yogesh Mahala my email ID is yogesh.mahala at the gmail.com you can contact with my through my mobile number as well and my Skype ID and with my website as well so in case any question you can reach me anytime I will be happy to help you so stay healthy keep learning be happy